The greatest way to keep anyone interested is to leave things in a cliffhanger. Discovery's show Alaska, The Last Frontier has mastered the art of cliffhangers with them ending episodes as something dangerous is about to happen. However, their most settling cliffhanger came in their December 6th episode for their latest season 11 with a very life-changing outcome for Ad Skilcher Sr. Does Ad Skilcher have cancer? In the episode, we see Ad Skilcher Sr. head to the doctor's office as he deals with the possibility that he may have cancer. He has been experiencing a lot of discomfort in his abdomen and could be very well some form of cancer. Something's pushing on my stomach, Ad says in the episode. There's a huge bowl inside my stomach where there shouldn't be one, so something on the outside is pushing in, so they want to go find out what if that is. If Ad's is clear from a cancer diagnosis, the producers have clickbaited us a little, but we will be happy. Ad Skilcher's many health problems. Ad Skilcher Sr. at this point of time is no stranger to health problems. Over the course of the show, we have seen him face a lot of issues in his health, especially in recent years. Last season, season 10, an episode titled Tsunami Evacuation, where the show looked back at the several health scares that have always come up and interrupted the family patriarch from fulfilling his cabin project. Even in the beginning of the season, there was fear that Ad Skilcher may have COVID-19 and that he had to undergo a hernia surgery. This new complication with the discomfort in his gut makes it look like a curse that he just can't overcome. We will only know how bad the curse is this time after results of the further tests did it come out. What happened in the episode? My appointment today is a city scan, Ads explains in the episode. So far I've had a probe go down my stomach and take some kind of photographs, but just of the stomach. Now they're going to see what else is going on in my beautiful, manly body cavity. Won't know the answer until Thursday when I go back and have a consult and then I'll know more. At Skilcher is feeling the gravity of the possibility. At Skilcher is usually fearless in the face of fear, but he seems genuinely concerned about his condition right now as he can be heard hyping himself as he heads to the clinic saying, I can do it. I can do it. Be strong. Be strong. Of course, any human being right away says, it's a mass. It's cancer. He later tells the cameras in a confessional. But there are some realities to getting older and physical is one. All the feelings. You realize you're just more vulnerable. That's also a human condition. Dealing with unknowns and believing that whatever happens, will make it through it. He also finds himself thinking about his mortality in the middle of this as he says, Of course, none of us like to face death. None of us knows for sure when it's coming, but people have terminal illnesses of course do know. Then there are challenges they know and only have so much time left on this earth. Then they have a choice about how to spend that time miserable and mad and angry or as happy as possible. He continued. The episode ends simply by Ad Skiltra coming out of the clinic doing tests and saying, Well, they filled me full of dye and they said this might make you feel hot and flushed. So I went into this tube, not an MRI, but a similar thing, and then they spurt this dye into your vein. They take this one scan and that was it. He goes on, and so now in a couple days when the information's back, I go see the good doctor and he will show all the images and tell me what they found. So take it one day at a time. The camera then cuts to its senior returning to the doctor. When I come out of there, I'll have more information than I do now and we'll see what the next step might be. He says as the episode draws to an end. I think it's just stomach issues, but there's always in the back of your mind. Oh, maybe it's something else going on. 